morning everybody greetings from the paramela heart institute uh, i am dr mahesh nalin kumar today we'll be talking about a new modality of treatment it's called elka or eczema laser assisted coronary angioplasty laser by definition means light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation so now i'll go step by step as to what it does so that people are aware of how we are using physics to coronary arteries it, so when you have an ultraviolet ray in this case uh, ultraviolet light of 308 nanometers when the light goes and hits a particle it naturally stimulates the photons when the particles come out so that first part is called light amplification so the, and the one photon hits the particle and multiple photons come out that is amplification so this these photons can come in any random direction or if you are able to organize these photons to go in the same wavelength same frequency and the same direction that you want it to go then it is called as stimulated emission of radiation so a light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation is what is called laser the definition and by the stimulated amplification of radiation photons from the cells which is next to the uh, laser gets amplified multiple photons come out they are directed to go in a particular direction and then hit the tissues and the effects of the laser is manifest on the tissues so this is the basic principle on which elka functions so what does the photons do once the photons get emitted from the the laser hits the cells and multiple photons get emitted and they are also redirected in the frequency and the direction that we want they have first a photochemical reaction in the photochemical reaction they break the carbon bonds of the fibrous tissue that is existing so the chemical reaction that takes place is this carbon bonds get damaged as a result of which the strength and the backbone of the fibrous tissue and the tissue around the thing gets damaged second is photothermal this generates temperature which also damages the fibrous tissue around and makes it more weak it doesn't dissolve the tissue but makes the tissue more weak and amenable to suggestions with balloons and the further devices that we take and finally photomechanical <clears throat> when the laser is inside there is either blood or saline or contrast blood causes a minimum amount of bubbles saline causes a medium amount of bubbles and contrast causes immense amount of bubbles these bubbles if i may put it uh, uh, physically speaking physics language can exert pressures up to 60 atmospheres on the vessel wall very very uh, very very high pressures uh, specifically so when you are using contrast with saline you get much lesser pressures but the modality remains the same that these photo bubbles so a combination of the photochemical the photomechanical and the photothermal activities together help us to damage the tissue which is otherwise very difficult to cross because it is old damaged and highly fibrous it doesn't have much of an effect on the calcium of the vessels however the calcium is also held together by fibrous bonds those things can be damaged because of the carbon molecule being separated so the laser in a way damages the the strength of the very difficult lesion that we are finding very difficult to cross making it soft pliable and amenable to further treatment the laser nu parnal ella adathum kondu upayogikkan pattina sadhanam illa and adin adinte it's not a panacea for all the ailments that are, uh, that ails the coronaries it is for very specific indications that we can use a laser the most common indication is to bail out the cardiologist when ஒரு வயர் கிராஸ் செய்த லீஷன் வேற ஒரு சாதனும் போகாண்டு விரும்புறானு த மோஸ்ட் காமன்லி யூஸ் திங் இன் அ ஃபைபரஸ் லீஷன் இஸ் அ லேசர் த அட்வான்டேஜ் இஸ் தட் இட் வில் பிரேக் த பாண்ட்ஸ் இட் வில் டேமேஜ் த டிஷ்யூ இட் வில் சாஃப்டன் த ஃபிளாக்ஸ் அண்ட் மேக்கிங் த கிராஸிங் வித் த பெலூன் ஆர் வித் எனிதிங் எல்ஸ் மச் ஈஸியர் in a non calcific lesion specifically where it is predominantly fibrous and calcium modification may not work the ideal treatment is is laser surprisingly it is much more common than we thought it was existing previously we used to struggle with five balloons 10 balloons keep on repeating in rules rot ablation and then probably in about say uh, 50% of these cases we succeed but once we experience laser we find that crossing these lesions a much easier and much more feasible and much more uh, practical way and you can finish the case with much less radiation as far as the cath lab is concerned the second most subset common subset is in the instant restenosis that is you have put in a stent earlier 
Inside this tent, there is a lot of fibrous muck which is created over a period of time due to multiple causes. Now, the only other option here is to go in for a bypass surgery because those that, that ISR, instant restenosis area, is very difficult to tackle. Laser has become a big blessing because if you laser the area continuously for quite some time, you'll find that those fibrous plasts before between the stent and the inner part gets damaged and gets washed out. And beyond that, we can do a cutting balloon or we can do a non-compliant balloon and maybe a drug eluting balloon will come out. So treatment of ISR has become an, uh, a, a big blessing to have a laser because it reduces the load of the fibrous tissue significantly, helping us to modify it. So there is a, these are the two classical cases in which we can use this, this machine to our best advantage. Another indication is acute heart attack at Virimbochella. Specifically, younger patients in a heart attack, where you go, the blood in the heart, the venial heart, lot of blood clots now. Clots are it, cutta cutta it, blood is going to come now. Ah, same time, when we are laserer, we are going to go and get it. Ah, laser, it is a leech. And our cutta cutta, our body is a leech. We are going to go for a little bit of a surgery. We are going to do thrombosuction, stent, or get a thrombosuction change. We are going to get a cutta cutta, and we are going to stent it down. Finally, to conclude, laser helps you to modify the lesion. That is, the block is on the soft taki, or the block in the recta cutter like a lichu kalanya, or the instant aga send in out the lesion or the gile, that is on the damage taki, that is on the clean cheese that is done. But she, in that, how many laser cheese that is? Laser cheese that is shesham. Indication and said, Chuck, one regular drug eluting balloon, a lingular drug eluting stent in the Avisha wound. Laser is not, uh, it, it is a, it helps you to salvage and solve the lesion, which are the curative. Final step will end the gill or a stent, a lingular drug eluting balloon, they would be Avisha down. So laser angioplasty chase the wound, Kairin Dirinilla, and the good either until a lingual or a modality would be which are a lesion cross here. Solve and patchwork. With lot of clot, it is very very helpful. Our laser therapy, where the other one, our clot to move on, our alleys are very important. ISR, that is instant breathing process. Laser is used to carry. Our advantage is that we can use pin and wind the mold to change the density. Not a drug eluting balloon, only one which dilates the area. Our ISR is salvage and patchwork. These two things are good. For three indications, I have one non-crossable lesion, sir. On the uh, ISR, on the acute myocardial infarction with a lot of clots. So you feel that laser is the ultimate answer to everything? No, it is very very specific indications, and it is not without its own drawbacks. Most common drawback being uh, perforation. It can it can not only damage the fibrous tissue, it can also damage the vessel wall. It can go through and through the vessel wall, and then it becomes a ca catastrophic event. So you should be very careful. You should know when to stop, where to start. Where to do and where not to do. Very very important that you can't do laser for every very badly tortuous vessels, very long lesions which are tortuous. You should be very careful. You should select your cases well, specifically so when you start a laser program. Later on you can go out. The second probably the most difficult thing is it is um, it is very expensive. Well, this machine you see is extremely expensive and it's so big. You can see it weighs about a ton and cannot be moved from one hospital to the other. So there is no floating uh, console that's available. Everybody has to get their own console. The initial investment is quite expensive. But once you get the hang of the laser, it is actually the biggest blessing for the cardiologist than the patient because it makes our life much easier. And the patient benefits tremendously because those cases where which may have to go in for a bypass surgery mandatorily, we may be able to do with laser and get away with it. So it's a, it's a very good thing to have. It's a very useful thing to have. It has helped us out in a lot of difficult situations where we could do things much faster and more efficiently.